Okay, another lesson. This time pages 24 through 25 from the third pace of Algebra 2. ACE calls this solving simultaneous equations by using the linear combinations method. Woohoo! That is a long title. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to put my calculator over here in case I need it. Other books, like I know the Saxon math, they teach this method, of course, but they call it the method of elimination. Basically, it's a way of putting two equations together and trying to find the x and the y coordinates of where those two lines would intersect each other. So in the previous lesson, we would have called that consistent lines. Okay, so all of these on this page will be consistent and you will be able to find an x and y value. The method we're going to use, though, is multiplying one or both equations through by some number to get rid of a variable. Now, I chose one that's actually on your homework, okay, because I want to illustrate a different way of solving it. Not different. I'm just going to show you that we can tackle it, um, and it doesn't have to be exactly the way the score key did it, but we'll get the same answer, all right? In the score key, they said, let's get rid of y first. And that kind of makes sense because this one's positive, this one's negative. So if I multiplied everything in this equation by 4 and everything in this equation by 3, <clears throat> then this would become 12y and this would become negative 12y and then they would cancel. But I'm going to just do it a little different. I'm going to take this equation, I'm going to get rid of x. So I'm going to take this equation and multiply everything by 3 and in this equation everything by negative 5. Let's see what happens. We get 15x plus 9y equals negative 27. All right, then this becomes negative 15x positive 20y, okay? Positive times positive, or negative times negative makes the answer positive over here. And this is gonna be 85, okay? <clears throat> now when I add these, notice this cancels out and I get 29y and this is why I got my calculator because it's late in the afternoon and my brain is fried so we're going to add the negative 27 plus the 85 and we get 58. Now if we divide by 29 we will have Da, 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 da. Did you do it ahead of me? Two. All right. I'm not going to finish this problem for you, okay? Because you can now take this answer and plug it into either of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. Plug it. Make sure you plug it in place of y, though. And then you can solve for x. All right. <clears throat> if you look at the score key and look at the way that they solved it, you'll see that they did the multiplying through by 4 and 3, cancel the y first, solve for x. But then you would take the x value, plug it into either equation in place of x, solve for y. So your final answer is going to be something for x, which you have to find out what that is. The 2 is the y value, so it's an ordered pair, x and y. All right, when we turn the page for the next lesson, we're going to talk about a different method, substitution, for doing the same kind of thing and really solving the same types of equations for x and y.